Wow, Nintendo Switch. Switch. You can play a lot of Nintendo More Switch games. I think it's just because we're excited about having capture software. Oh, absolutely. Or hardware. Yeah, capture hardware. Yeah, yeah, hardware. So, uh, can you guess what game this is? I have no idea. This is Metroid Dread. You don't say. Yeah. Alright, uh, so I played this a lot, but also, uh, I have some strong opinions about this game. You hate it. With every essence of your- every fiber of your being, it burns with the fury of a thousand suns. I don't hate you think it. this game is poopy. No. You think it's a poopy game. Nah. Oh, hold on one moment, I actually gotta adjust the volume on my monitor, which is a lot. Oh yeah, you, oh yeah, you don't want to, uh, yeah, th it, this is, uh, this is, isn't this your first time having a Switch channel or Switch gameplay? Yes, uh, we were, it would have been my second time, but, uh, we experienced some difficulties with the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, let me turn it down. Uh, there. Uh, Alright. But yeah, um... So yeah, let's get started. Yeah, uh, you're I, seeing what... Well, now you're seeing why I wear two two sets of ear... of headphones. Oh, no, no, I'm no. It, it doesn't pick up. I'm far enough away. I just wanted to turn it down, because... Just in case the louder parts. Alright, uh, I deleted all my save files. However, as you can see, uh, I have Dread Mode unlocked, which means I've finished Hard Mode. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, what difficulty are you going to be playing on? Uh, fuck it, let's do Normal. Yeah, we want this to- we only want this to be a couple- this is- this is basically just a break between- between games. Pretty much. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drains the energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and were named after the word for Ultimate Warrior. Uh, their value as a bioweapon has sparked several crises, and th as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. I think it's just crises. I like what I said better. Oh yeah, don't forget that I'm going to be reading Adam. I'd like to read this one. Yeah. X-Parasite. A gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It would absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When affecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. Ex-parasites were driven not by emotion, but an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Boom. Go. That's not good. Ugh. Ugh, so Yuck. goofy. I do like the art. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X. Uh, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet and got infected. I almost died. Oh, it's Samus telling look, us this. Look, look, it's the Metroid from Super... <laughs> er, the, the NES. In, in the corner. It yeah. showed the Metroid and the X, like their actual sprites from their games. Oh, that's fun. I... I okay, uh, before we continue... I do love when games do that, like the Mario like, Sunshine little demonstration in Sunshine. Yeah, I love that. I do too. It's a nice, it's a wonderful nod. This is you. All oh, right. We're doing the every other. <laughs> the only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to, bi to a biologic space laboratory's research station to investigate a distress signal. Hello? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I was getting a drink. Oh, I thought I thought no. like either like you were. You, oh, you yeah. have been having internet issues. Uh, no, no, no. That, that yeah, that is. Uh... 
While I fix that, <laughs> I will read the next thing. Uh, there, I battle a powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was mimicking me at, in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X on SR388 by setting the BSL research station to collide with the planet. Uh, on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories. Or so we thought. Just when all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Not a Vimdio. Oh, that doesn't look good. It looks... Uh-oh. It showed an X alive in the wild. This one's you. Sorry, I had food in my mouth. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. I wonder who the fuck Excelion Star Corporation is. I don't know. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. Yeah, so I do like that this report is from Samus' point of view, so they don't have to actually explain what the strongest stuff in the universe is. Yeah, Samus uh, she, doesn't you know. know. Just... Yeah, she doesn't know what it is. It's just super strong, durable. Not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it, Federation. You had one job. That's a nice suit. Yeah, I do love this suit. This suit looks so fucking good. What's happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Yeah. I will say, positive thing, this game looks fucking amazing. Yeah. It, this definitely has my favorite suit out of the the whole series. Ah, uh, the one at the end that we can't talk about because it'd be a really big spoiler? No, the one at the very beginning. Ah. The Metroid Dread suit. Yeah. That's its name. Yeah. That's, it's, it's why, that's why the game is called it. It's named after the suit. Yeah. Is it actually this a game you. about the manufacturing process? Oh, wait, process? no, this is me. We'll soon be entering ZDR's atmosphere. This the you. bounty for this mission does not seem appropriate. Adam, it's not about the money. The risk clearly outweighs the reward. I love these Star Wars sound effects. Treat our lost assets with care, lady. Entering the atmosphere in three. Entering the atmosphere in three. Yeah, I'll just let the the. That one. That yeah, one's that, more recognizable. Yeah, that one's legible. Than Adam. Adam is yeah. completely Ill, in, in, unintelligible. Nah, I can intel. I can intelligible him. I mean, I can't. I mean, well, that's I w because you have that's because you have an auditory processing disorder. I do. Oh fuck. Ouch. Ah. Uh, how Oof. much did I drink last night? By the way, this suit is fucking amazing. I love the muscle and sinew. Ooh, bit scary door. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal's quality is likely to be low. Remote communication may pose a problem. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way we can remain in contact. Any objections, lady? 
So in Metroid Other M, the best, like, Samus's best moment is the one where she lost communication with Adam, and she's like, Hey, Adam, I'm gonna go use my powers now. Any objections? Just as I thought. Or, I thought not. Yeah. It's the only time she's allowed to have character other than, uh, baby syndrome. By the way, Whoa, cool yeah, fight. yeah, fantastic introduction to look at uh, that suit. Look at that suit too. Yeah, that suit is pretty badass. Kind of gives me phase on suit vibes. That's just because it's a uh, black and red. Haha! -ha, parried his ass. Super missile to the face. Go towards the light! Well, Samus is dead. And that's the end of Metroid Dread. I can't believe they killed Samus off in the first in, in the intro. I know, right? Uh, Wild. I wish there was a way to turn off the tutorials, because they kind of stop moment. I do like her HUD in this one. I wish we actually got to see more of it. It's real Ooh. neat seeing the uh, environment from like that angle in that shot. It'd have been cool to see more. Yeah. I like... What I like about Prime and that shot in Dread is that you see her helmet. Oh, yeah. I don't think enough, like, space marine... Like, s s you know, space... Super space suit video games. Oh. You know, Halo. Wait, hold on. Halo, Destiny, Met Metroid Prime. That's what it was. Okay. It, so it's been like a month and a half since I've played. Yeah. I, I feel that not enough uh, power suit video games show the inside of the helmet. Oh, yeah. Ow. Like, I'm seeing from this character's perspective. Let me see what they're seeing. Yeah, and I like... So, one thing I did like about Prime was the HUD. It, it was a diegetic HUD. Yeah, I love that shit. Alright. VLC froze again. Oh, shit. That ain't good. So, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. All right. So, you've accessed the network station. Well done, well done, Samus. I've reviewed your vital signs and video logs. All right. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You you cut out. Oh. So you've accessed a network station. Well done, Samus. I've reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account. For I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes. You cut out again. Mother well, fuck it. Read people at home. Read yeah, it. just just read it. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most ability. Yeah, I eat my pasta bake. Fine. Whatever you, whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you from most of your abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. You know, like that time you got hit in the back on the uh, Orpheon. That brings me to your assailant. You remember that? A long time ago. Back orbiting, uh, Talon 4? Uh, I hate that they actually gave a reason as to why she lost her powers in Prime. That brings me to your assailant. I'm checking the Federation database. It appears to have been a Chozo, but the attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere, determined that somewhere within, within the depths of Z that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be <sighs> returning to your ship on the surface. Uh, the situation is precarious. Trust your instincts and navigate onward. This planet appears to, this planet appears to consist areas. of multiple areas. Shuttles, Shuttles elevators, and other modes of transport. Connect them. Keep an eye for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it out. Your, check it for yourself. 
You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you uh, vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. You know, just like in Fusion, except at the end of Fusion you got your DNA back so you shouldn't have cold uh, weakness I just anymore. had an idea. A, a, an image formed itself within my mind. What? Do you think anyone's drawn a uh, Sam like suitless Sam, you know, like just fucking like zero suit Samus casual wear? Do you think anyone's drawn her just like comedically bundled up for winter? Uh, like huge, pu huge puffy coat in her arms, or just she's basically just forced to T pose. She's got like a really big warm hat. Oh, I was I was picturing like sitting with a massive blanket next to a fire uh, with a cup of coffee or a cup of hot chocolate. All right. Someone's someone's got to have drawn comedically bundled up Samus, right? That sounds amazing. They should. I'm, oh fuck! I'm getting, I'm seeing pics of her in winter gear, but not comedically, but not comedically get gotten up. All right. So gameplay. Yeah. Oh goddamn. Ah, Silver. I thought you were good at this game. Damn. What the what fuck? What was it that one guy said? What? The pretentious asshole. What? Like? Oh, like, you mean Quantum? Uh, I don't, it, it, the guy from the server about like when you were talking about. Met, oh, uh, that one. Metroid sorry, TV sorry. Game. I thought you were talking. I, I thought you were thinking of like. Uh, when you said pretentious asshole, my immediate thought was like Quantum TV saying a game that isn't made for everybody shouldn't be a game that exists or some shit. You remember that really, really bad take? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pretentious asshole, do you have the screenshots I sent? Cause I did take screenshots. I probably do, but I'm not gonna look for it. Oh, no, no, just look in my, just go into my server and type in the word pretentious. You might be able to find it. Damn, this, this enemy got fucked up. Oh yeah. Strongest stuff in the is it universe? Supposed to, yeah, is it supposed to be made of the strongest stuff in the universe? It's missing his little head. Well, the person that, uh, that one person that we fought. By the way, I think that this scene is a huge misstep. Because, you know, the Emmy are, like, supposed to be the main threat. They're supposed to be the SAX of this game. And by showing one that has been damaged and this entire scene in general kind of makes them not really that much of a threat. And you'll see why in a sec. Is that mother brain? Uh no. Yes, but no. Uh it's the same technology that was used to create mother brain. Damn. Well, it makes sense. The Chozo did make her. Yeah. And that is why the Emmy suck. And they don't ha they don't provide as much fear as like the SAX did. Because you can fight back. Yeah. It, it okay, shows you right off the bat. wild. It shows you right off the bat that you can kill them. Yeah, but also it shows you that you can kill. That one? You saw how incredibly fucked up it was. Yeah, but it still shows that they can be killed. With the SAX, you are you don't realize they can't, like, you're told throughout the entire game that they cannot be killed. Uh, it, it cannot be killed until the very end. Do you think it's actually it's actually immortal, or do you think that if you like, what like the... cheat coded your way into like against it, like if you just like 
fired oh. at it enough, it would die. It literally does not take damage until it's the boss fight. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. So it is hard-coded immortal. Yeah, the S A X is. What an interesting room. Yeah. I'm sure I won't find anything terrible under here. Oh, look at that one. That one's got purple on him. Yeah, it's like Aperture Science up in this bitch. That rinky-dink pea shooter ain't gonna do jack shit. Get rip. Did it just say get rip? Yeah, you said get rip. <laughs> I meant to say get fucked and rip and piff. <laughs> uh. Come here. Ha! Uh, rippy and pippy! Get fucked. See you later, fucker. Oh, look in the background. You see that? Ooh. What? I saw fish jumping. Yeah, let's go with that. Look. I like missiles. Discord, Discord doesn't stream very high quality. Yeah. You get like, what, 720p? Yeah. Don't you have... Don't you have nitro? Yeah, but it'll. Uh, I have to balance VLC, Discord, and OBS, or else my OBS is gonna chug. Uh, both the ME you encountered are clearly trying to capture you. This they may have been hacked. If so, it's responsible to. It's reasonable to assume all ME will be hostile. The ME. That's a. That's a. That sure is a conclusion to be drawn. Yeah. Uh, the Emmy sent out pulse to, to, to... They can hear you. It's sonar. You know what sonar is. Upon detecting... Yeah. They enter surveillance mode to try and check the source. They have its line of sight. If it happens otherwise, danger, blah, blah, blah. An Emmy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Uh, part of that pursuit protocol is to seal the Emmy zone exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit, evade the Emmy, and it'll disengage. This will unseal the exits. An Emmy never leaves its assigned zone, and their control system must permit them to operate within that range. I estimate a 99% probability, probability of death if an Emmy captures you. Do you know what Sonar stands for? Uh, sound... Something, 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 uh, radar. Sound something, something, something? Sound something, 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 radar. Mm, you got one word. Okay, what is it? Sound navigation and ranging. Oh, okay. Or sonic navigation and ranging. Yeah. Uh, you, you need to kill them. You should sur just survive the Emmy. By the way, that's another misstep with the Emmy is assigning them to specific zones. I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of like a boss fight. Uh, not even. Uh, so the thing with the uh, the SAX, it was scripted to appear in certain rooms. Uh. But yeah, but there's only the one SAX. Well, I mean, there's ten, but you don't find out that there's ten until much later. Like you don't find out there's ten until most of them have been killed. Didn't know I need to go this Silver. way. Silver. What? You're spoiling a 22-year-old Game Boy game. Game Boy Advance. No way, I needed to go that way. Shit. I never had a link cable for my Game Boy Advance when I was a kid. Uh, I did. Get fucked! Oh, fuck. What? It was I a... I fucking hate the it... Emmy. Damn. And that's the last thing I hate about the Emmy, is that they are 
instant death, and it wouldn't be so proud if it weren't for the fact that their uh, parry windows were randomized each time. So you can't actually practice parrying them. Which is, Dang. in my opinion, artificial difficulty. Because it's t it, it removes any chance of, like, skill. Nope. Alright. In that pea shooter. I'm so glad that they, uh made the long beam just be a default thing because in uh in the original metroid uh you had a really really piss range until you got the long oh, beam. oh that's right the, in the, the og metroid did have a range did have a short range to the beam yeah it, uh until um and also zero mission by the way if you ever play Z if we ever do the story of the first Metro, we're doing zero mission. Because, uh... The I think we're gonna take a bit of a Metroid break after this. Oh, absolutely. Bitch, this is get up here. two Metroids in a row. Yeah, but this will... This won't take nearly as long as uh, Prime. Why didn't you just hop down and fire at it from there? I didn't want to get hit. You've got 99 health. Yeah, and those things take like 30. This is normal mode. It's going to do less than that. No, in... In... Uh... Hard mode, it takes like 50. Have you played Dread Mode yet? No. Are you gonna? Uh, eventually. Dread mode is everything insta kills you. Because no matter with all of your complaining and your whining, it's still a Metroid game and you're gonna have fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I it's not a bad game. It just has. Certain decisions which were not good. It's not a bad game, it's just not good. Oh, where am I going? This way? Oh, I know what to do. a couple health. I do like the uh, uh, recharge stations. Eh. And it's not a it's not a long ass cutscene like it is in, in Prime. Yeah. No, I can't get that yet. Oh fuck! Like I could understand a, a long cutscene for a save station. Cause that's a, that's a big thing, is saving your game. Yeah. That's big and important. Yeah. I'm... Having an equally long cutscene with the same feel for reloading your missiles. Yeah. It's a little, a little silly. Oh God. Charge beam. I'm no longer Yay. bound to this rinky dink ass p uh, piss shooter. I can now charge. Now you can blast piss at your enemies. Just like the sniper. Hey, look, we're back here. He attack you with his ass. Shit. I wish you could parry these guys, but they don't have a parry attack. No, it looks like they just walk into you real fast. Yeah. I like the things in the background. So 
some sort of weird, vague animal. Yeah. Metroid is really good. Tank update already? Yeah. Wild. Come on. Okay, they take off 20 in this one. That bird got exploded. Fucking hell. Damn. Cannot wait until I get the wide beam. Wait, hold on. It looks like you might be able to walk into there, maybe? What? Go, go back down. No, that that's where the first semi zone was. Oh. If you don't see Froze again. Oh. Well, don't worry, I'm saving so I can just... Why does it do this? I don't know. Why does it happen to you more than it happens to me? I don't know. Well, it's probably because your computer's old and shitty. I mean, it's not shitty. Oh, look at that, a brain. Er Whoa. Or an armor. It's definitely not the... Uh, eye uh, that we've uh, seen. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not that dead brain that we found earlier. Nah, it's another one. Ah, get fucked. <laughs> oh god, the end here is such garbage. Well, well, they may be incredibly tough and lethal. Do forget that they're not combat oh, droids. Oh, did you see that? They're re yeah, did they're for research. Well, I mean, they're ma they're for extracting DNA, and they're made to survive shit. Yeah, they're made to be f they're made to be fast and. They're made to be fast and lethal, but they're not made to fight. Oh no, I'm trapped. Whatever shall I do? Oh no. So, you see, I can understand why the guy that made God of War and Twisted Metal got stuck in this room. Because, you know, if you kill that thing in one hit, uh, you wouldn't know about this. Yeah, but also... This is a Metroid game. They've had hidden breakable blocks since the first one. Yeah, but you, you usually don't encounter them a whole lot until after you get the bombs. Which we will yeah, be getting should... in this episode. By the way, I yeah, love this like... area. This area is beautiful. Ooh. Oh, it's going up. Yeah. It's uh, going up to the geothermal shit. Ah, fuck it. But like... Metroid is a game that's that came out in 1985. To be fair, the original Metroid Secrets were completely serious bullshit. Yeah, but it's it's been a staple of the game. Even in even in Prime, they're there. Yeah, but Let, it it's dur during the 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 ball segments, but still. Yeah, but the thing is, there usually, are hidden breakable blocks. Yeah, and usually the hidden breakable blocks don't really uh, factor into things until after you get the bombs, which let you easily uh, test out breakable blocks. Yeah, but still, if you're stuck, shoot shoot around. You'll probably hit something. Oh no! I need the ball for that. That was a very generous parry. Yeah, uh, so, uh, it's not nearly as generous on the Switch Lite. 
Let me tell you that. There was no record of your assailant in, There's the, no record of your assailant in the Federation database. database. However, there are records of the chosen warrior tribe. There's a strong possibility the two are connected. Uh, we've seen the warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone lead you in here and send Emmy after you? The foot effect of X parasite may have been staged to lure you in. This situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to your ship. You have activated the magma supply system and restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out and proceed. Continue research for the unique energy you employed against the first Emmy. It's the only way you can confront them. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after the Emmy is destroyed. There's six remaining Emmy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Alright, six Emmys. Okay, you're, now your complaints about the enemy being killable are less valid because they are situationally killable. Yeah, but it still establishes that they are killable early on. Yeah. After you, like, beat a boss. I hardly call it that. <laughs> I'm not saying that the Emmy is a boss, I'm saying you get the energy from a boss. I was saying you could hardly call it a boss. It's a... This is Metroid. It's a big brain in a jar. It's obviously a boss. Speaking I think you just like to... I think you just like to complain. I don't. This is a mini-boss at best. Because there's multiple of them. You managed to get the little turret to shoot through one of the hoops. Nice. But yeah, the, oh, it's the, uh, it's Mother Brain. The, like, the Metroid Brain Cheerio Beam. Yeah, the radioactive donuts. Are you doing anything? Yeah. See? There we go. It's a first boss. It's gotta be easy. This thing... It's not... It doesn't appear in the boss rush. It does not count as a boss. There we go. Uh, and now it knows. It's a big eyeball. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Ugh. Got real dark. Yeah. Because I absorbed its energy. I can do that now. Getting his head real hot. Like I said, they're not hard. It almost snuck up on you. I mean, I would have had time to, you know, not. It's only because I forgot if it was going to come from above or through the door. But yeah, once you break their uh once you break their face, it gives you enough time to uh charge up the beam you need to actually kill them. Alright. Mm. 
Oh, god damn it. You silly. Alright. Yeah, my plan is I'm hoping to be able to get the, uh, uh, wait, hold on, uh, yes. I'm I'm gonna get oh guess that door isn't active. Uh I'm gonna get I, I I'm gonna kill a couple bosses, more than one boss. Cool. There we go. That's gross. Here's the first, uh, here's the first boss. Mm. We're going to be fighting a giant statue. Ah, a Chozo. Yeah, Chozo statue. I do like this. By the way, I guess we missed it, but there... This thing does like jump out and eat. Yeah. Uh, eat what? Uh. Come on. Stop that. Oh, yes. It, it eats the, uh. those animals in the background. Oh, neat. Damn it. simply a frightening predator. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Alright, now that he's in this phase, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier. Whoa. What a wild, crazy, and fucked up animal. Oh, yeah. Why would anything need to need to evolve to be this deadly? Uh, ZDR is fucked. Ew. Damn it! I missed. Like I said, I'm very rusty. Is there like an in-lore explanation for... ...why you can refill your missiles from killing creatures? Yeah. It's a... Uh... Uh, so, her missiles, like, it's not like she has a, a pack full of missiles. It's more that she converts energy into physical matter. And her... I do like that she grabs the thing by its skull and fucking blasts it in the face. Damn it. That, that's not what I should have done. Oh, it's dead. This thing does a lot. You did shoot it a lot. I did. I do like how badass Samus is in general. In this yeah. game. Like, she takes no shit. Nothing faces her. She's quite literally the white woman too angry to die. 
he is the white woman jump scare. Yeah. What the hell? It's a Chozo USB. It's a Chozo floppy disk. Phantom Cloak acquired. Yep. She turned that creature into a cube. Yep. Well, yeah, it ate a cube. And that's how it got to be invisible. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, all the... The thing about her outfit is that it, uh... It, it converts energy into matter. And, uh... That's why, you know, she's able to download missiles... Because uh, her suit it, it basically learns the schematics of how to do that. Neat. I just ended that bat's whole career. Nope, not that way. This way. Come on, step on it. I'd be surprised if I died to anything other than Emmy or bosses. Alright, when you die from lava, I'm gonna laugh at you really hard. Okay, that's actually lava also... Place. Okay, bosses, lava for one particular thing. Uh... Is there, there's one particular instance in which lava would actually have a chance of killing me. Mm. Hey, by the way, VLC froze again. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. You really gotta upgrade. I'm gonna try something else. Let's see if this causes it to freeze. I'm increasing the, uh, the cash. Oh, to like 200? Uh, there's something a little more manageable. I had it at zero. I mean, oh, I can't run it at zero. It crashes if I try to run it at. Z yeah, I, I'm running it at zero, and or I'm I'm running it at fifty now. I'm seeing if that fixes it. If I try to run it at anything under if under a hundred, it crashes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. God, the Chozo love their elevators, you know? I mean, hey, when you invent something, you're gonna put it places. Oh, yeah. Don't you know that the Chozo invented the elevator? Of Humans got it from them. Of course. Uh, that's why they have a, a museum dedicated to the, uh, the progress of elevators. Uh... Hey, look at your health. Nice. It's no longer nice. Get hurt. Get less hurt than that. Alright, Adam, what do you got to say? You wanna read this I'm one? I'm a big dumb computer. God, I'm watching the VLC and it's like a full half second. CDR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the magma here in the Kataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Kataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path. Forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Cloak ability. The Phantom Cloak prevents the Emmy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Note that using the Phantom Cloak severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with the Emmy will still result in capture. 
it is up to you, it is up to you whether to hold your position. Easy, it is useless once the enemy sees you. You will need to evade capital until, until it gives up pursuit. The Phantom yeah. Cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy. The, fan the Phantom Cloak will can remain active after your Aeon has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of the technique will improve your probability of survival. So, uh, basically... It'll take you down to one, but it can't kill you. Yeah, it'll take you down to one, and then, um... And then you'll be, uh... A bit fucked. Because it, it'll stop working. I'd like to see someone try to work that as a spy, as like an invis watch for the spy. One that uh, drains health? Well, it's got its own charge meter, but if you use it after it's emptied, uh, it starts to reduce your maximum HP. You know, like, oh, yeah. like the killing blood, the, like the killing gloves of boxing, or the, um, or uh, the eviction notice. Well, that would, would be interesting. Uh, coincidentally, are heavy heavy weapons. Well, heavy's got a big health pool, so it makes a little more he sense. He does have a he does have a big health pool. Both of both of them, because uh, what they do is they increase your movement speed. Yeah, and at the cost of decreasing your maximum health as long as you keep them out, and they they can take you down to a hundred health. I mean, the, uh... Which is, you know, enough to get one-shotted by a direct rocket. Oh, hey, look, it's the that machine that was in the background. Oh! Now it's up close. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Don't! <laughs> how, how dare you. It can't be bad. Oh, damn it. What was I talking about? Heavy. He oh, yeah, the spy weapon. Or spy invis watch for the spy phantom cloak. What the fuck? I was invis. It saw you before you went invisible. Come here, bitch. But yeah, uh, I think it could be an interesting, an interesting watch. Maybe it, uh... It increases your, uh, it increases your, uh, invisibility time at a, at a cost. A, a, a cost that isn't, stay still. Yeah, don't be a fucking camper. Yeah. Though, going cloak and dagger By the way, is good for recon. These assholes are, th these volcano assholes are why I don't want to play dread mode just yet. Because, uh, uh, yeah. You know, instant death upon taking damage does not jive well with those kinds of things. Yeah. Because, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe to make it worth the, uh, the life risk. Uh -oh. Ooh, this one's green. I like that. Doesn't see me because I got the phantom cloak. I do like how they move. They move very eerily because they have so many joints. Yeah. It makes them highly mobile. Yeah. Um. And from this point forward, uh, they can crawl through small spaces. Yeah, I, I think to make it worth the, the uh, risk to life... Uh, maybe it gives you, like, a speed boost while you're using it? Yeah, I could see you... that. Man. It could be, uh... I think I would make it a, uh, another, uh, pocket watch type, uh, type cloak. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, cause, you know, um, it, it, it's, it's, it, you, it would most, it would probably mostly be used as an escape tool. Yeah. 
You don't need oh. to worry about having main of, about having your your health to go. Oh, it's paused. It's frozen again. God damn it! You don't have you don't have to worry about missing maximum health when you know oh. they can't see. I didn't even I didn't even reset. Start, I didn't even reset it. There he goes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Spy has a maximum HP. Oh wait, of I just hit health here. What 20. the fuck am I doing? He has a, oh, he has a health, nope. health of it, it, 125. It, it. Yeah, it's frozen again. Spy has 125 health, so taking it down to 100 would make it not very good. Maybe yeah. down to like 75, 75 health. Maybe. 75 or 50 health uh, would probably make it worth it. You know how. Have to have. By the way, I love how fast the saves are in this game. Yeah, I mean they're not the fastest because, you know, I think that uh, Fusion probably has faster, but it's still fast Maybe. enough. What? I don't know what happened there. I somehow stunned it. Haha! -ha. That's not where I need to go. I need to go up here. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Right. Oh uh, man. Ow. Um. I will say, this game, beautiful. It's pretty much the main part. So, at at a, oh, nope, down here. He's gonna be right. No, he's not. Uh, no, I can't do that yet. Let me go over here. Oh, fucking hell. Damn it! Rip. Fucking hell. Or the Emmy are so annoying. But yeah, the you can see why the Emmy are like they're they're pushed to the point of uh, being annoying, not scary. You're being pursued. I know. Get fucked. Oh fuck. Ah, get fucked. <laughs> Ooh, our texture. Yeah. Oh, that's what happened. What? Uh, when I stunned the other one, it's because apparently it, it got caught in the in the hitbox of my parry. But oh, that's fun. but not in the hitbox of my uh, my blast, so it didn't die. Fucking... I like that the parry gives you um. Like, does it get? Do you get more resources? By oh, parrying? absolutely. Uh, well, if I parry and then kill, uh, if, if yeah, yeah, if I do the parry kill combo, then I do get yeah, it's more like, resources. Uh... 
it's rewarding, like those, uh, like the glory kills in Doom 2016 and Eternal. Yeah. Alright, Adam, hit me up. ME stands for Extraplanetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit in the narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any ME you encounter will likely do so as it pursues you. You are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capability. You are faced with overwhelming powers. Accept your helplessness. Study each ME carefully and use the Phantom Cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The Phantom Cloak remo reduces your mobility and consumes Aeon when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Uh, do not hesitate to destroy an enemy when you discover more unique energy. This was not one of your original properties or priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Yeah. So, uh, Aeon is a very interesting thing. Uh, before yeah. the people that made... Bef before, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. Who was it? I, I don't remember who it is that made this. But before they did, they made the remake of... Oh, hey there. Uh, they made the remake, the 3DS remake of Metroid 2, and that's where they yeah. introduced Aeon. Yeah. The thing is, Aeon in the Metroid 2 remake, um, did, it, it consumed, or it was a resource, not a, a gauge. Like here, it, the Aeon replenishes naturally. Yeah, you collect it from the air. Yeah. Uh, and so... It wasn't like that in... Uh... It wasn't like that in... What's it called? Metroid 2, 2, the two inning. Yeah. Personally, I prefer not another Metroid... Or, I prefer another Metroid 2 remake over Metroid 2, uh... 3DS. Met Metroid 2. Metroid 2 2, the, the second thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's critters in here. Yeah, but not for long. Ow, rude. There we go. Yeah, pumping lava. Yep. Getting that lava out, cooling that area. That lava drains really fast. And uniformly. Yeah. It, it must have like grates at the bottom that just like suck it out. Oh, hey, the fire stopped. Yeah, because there's no more lava. Oh, god damn it. Urgh. I like that they have more than just one capture animation. At least. Yeah, yeah. I think it's based on, like, what, po like, where in their walk cycle animation they are when they uh w when you trigger it maybe it's like sometimes they're big fucking hell damn it you can uh, watch Samus get stabbed in the chest and throat in many different ways. Yeah, this is gonna be annoying. Because it's randomized each time. So there's no way like to- each life? 
Yeah, there's no way to... Each time you get captured, it's randomized. Dang. That blows. Yeah. There we go. I did not want to come down here. God damn it. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Uh... No. Alright. Now oh, I'm back over here. It is satisfying to uh, get a parry kill, though. Yeah. I, uh, so when I initially played, one of my main complaints was the parry system because I was playing on the Switch Lite, and uh, the parry system on the Switch Lite is just atrocious. Dang. Damn it. By the way, do you recognize this music? Is that like the start? Is that like the menu theme for Super Metroid? No. But it is in Super Metroid as well as uh uh Metroid 1. I like the trumpets. Oh wait. I I it's uh I'm pretty sure it's a uh version of Okay. I'm pretty sure it's like a version of uh, well, where am I going? Right, right. I know where to go. Yeah, because now I can do this. Wait, could, I could do that before, couldn't I? What? No, that's where. Okay, that's. Oh God damn it! You gonna go back through the Emmy room? Yeah, no, I went in a circle. So I went down when what I should have done was go up. I was supposed to go ah, this way. Big rip. Big rip. Yeah. So I just went in a circle. Look, it wouldn't be a Metroid game without getting lost, you know? Yeah. But now I can go through here. Oh fucking hell. Look at those guys. It's such a pain in dread mode because they got that bullshit. Yeah. Oh shit, actually I didn't want to go here just yet. God damn it. There's more stuff over here. Nope. Damn it. There's more stuff over here that I needed to get. And we're gonna borrow with those assholes. There we go. This is what I wanted. Like I said, it's been a couple months since I played. Mm. That left me a bit rusty.
Come on. Give me that ship. Okay. Wait, then what was this way? Oh, right. This. Which is so good. Uh. I'm putting a lot of thought into this, into this watch concept. Like, I just, I just like, figured, like, how long it should last. Does this sound good to you? Uh, the okay. So stock invis lasts ten seconds. Yeah. Before you decloak. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the meter lasts for like seven and a half seconds, and then, then on the health drain it lasts for another five. So it's like a total of twelve and a half seconds. Uh. So it, you think that might be too powerful? I don't think it would be powerful enough, considering it would be like. Well, I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it too much of an upgrade, because you know you, I, you've got to. With TF2, most things have to have pluses and minuses compared to stock. That's fair. You know, well, but it's got this. Is it's it? It's got this. It's got the the negative of the health drain. Does it drain to one? Uh, no. I was I was thinking having it drain to like, fit like, fifty to fifty or seventy five percent of your health bar. Okay. There is no item in TF two that drains you to one HP. I mean, there is on the uh, thousand times server. Yeah, but that's th those. That's using ridiculous numbers. Uh, uh yeah because uh nothing the well because putting it at one would be useless nothing in tf2 deals one singular damage that's fair like maximum distance sh shotgun pellets deal like well you can get it down to one using resistances and stuff but but with but straight you like the minimum damage you can deal is like three B but giving him three hp i don't want to make it so that he'll instantly die if he falls if he falls a little that's fair obviously this would need like a lot actual, of play testing yeah actual like play testing to balance it good but I do like the concept. Yeah. I would have to think of a name that isn't just Phantom Cloak. I mean, that is a really good. Uh... It is a good name, but it is stole. It will be stealing. The Dread Cloak. That would be even more stealing. What and the. Uh... The fucking. Besides, I probably have. I probably have to make it some French pun. Okay. What about uh, cloak le fantôme? That's just the just just the phantom's cloak in, in French. Yeah. Wide bean, yay! Now I don't have to duck anymore. Hooray! I wish I would start calling it the Spazer Beam again. That was cool. How do you... <laughs> yeah. How do you feel... about how live this suit is? What? How do you feel about how live Samus's suit is in the... I like it. It, uh... Oh, fucking hell. The, uh, uh, the, the, them removing her, uh, suit in 
uh, fusion is why she's able to grab... Oh, fucking hell. It is why she's able to grab uh, the shit, in, the ledges in fusion is because she's working with a lot less... She has a lot less plating. Yeah. She's got more flexibility. What the fuck? I hit it. Give me that soup. I've dropped I've dropped the concept of this of this watch into a server with a friend of mine that uh, I that I know he he likes TF2. He's submitted some hats for the workshop. Oh, look, actually. a yellow one. Ooh, pretty. It's a speedy boy. Boom, boom. Uh, this friend of mine uh, has submitted stuff to the workshop, and the stuff that has uh, one one of them has been accepted. Oh, nice! He uh, he did he did the concept rack for uh, our concept art. It was for uh, one of the for like that uh, the antlers from from the uh, from the last Christmas update. Oh, uh, scout antlers. No, it was an all class. Oh. All right. While it's loading, I am going. Well, while the next area is loading, I'm just gonna take two seconds to grab a drink. I. Do do. But yeah. Uh... All right. I got my drink. Uh oh. It was just out of reach. I had to take my headphones to get it. Oh, I see. On the day I went away, goodbye was all I had to say. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I've been listening. Uh, 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 the festive <laughs> rack is the hat. Giggity. He did the column set art for it. It's a set of antlers with uh, lights on them, and it's an all class. And because he did the concept art for it, that means he has a special. Uh, he has a special, unusual one. If. If you're credited in the creation of a of a of a cosmetic in TF2, and it does actually get in in one of the updates, um, you are given that hat with the uh, community. It's like a it's got like a sparkle effect to it to signify that it's like you made it. Yep. All right, me uh, mother brain time. I believe they're also untradeable. So you much easier them with. Or trade them, I think. Oh, they look. The lasers are uh, green now because this is the green one that we're fighting. Oh, neat. Wait, I thought it was the yellow one that we're fighting. No, no, the yellow one was in the other area. I I went to the yellow. Uh, I went to the other area to get the wide beam. Oh, okay. So you've come back to kick green boy. Yeah. Now that I have the wide beam. I like her boots. Yeah. Has really good boots. Yeah. They're like, they're chunky like an anime. Oh, yeah. And they don't have heels. They're, they're, no, you know what it is? They're chunky like Jenny Wakeman. Yes. Oh, wait. Uh... Nope, not there. Here. Uh, 
Oh no, you're gonna come this way. All right. Fine by me. Get his face nice and warm. I am. And with that, you've already killed almost a majority of the enemies that have- I mean, I've killed- there's only one enemy I've met that I haven't killed. Yeah, no, there's only five left. What are you talking about? That's four. the third one. Oh, only shit. seven were sent. Yeah, no, there's four yet. Sorry, I forgot about the first one. Hey, you got the morph ball. Hell yeah. I was literally, I was literally about gonna ask earlier and then didn't. What are you getting the morph ball? Yeah, you get it, like, weirdly late. Not late late, but... Uh... Just late enough. For it to... Be of a bit uh, concern. By the way, I do like how the morph ball functions in this. Because uh, if you saw, I just like went up the ledge. Also, you want to know something amazing? Watch this. Want to see something cool? It starts me with being able to jump in the morph ball. Nice. It not only does it give start you with a jump, but it also starts you with spider. Well, uh, no, I there's no spider climb. It said it had it. It said the word spider climb on the scan on the scan when you got it. No, no, no. Uh I I have the uh the ma spider magnet. Yeah, that's it. That's not the morph ball. Is the, well, it's, you know I say it's not letting you do it. God, I wish the spider climb came back. Spider climb was great. It was also super OP. It was also incredibly situational in my experience. Uh, well, you and I had very different experiences. Also, I think they should bring back the uh, the ten, uh, th the ten missile pack thing. You know. Yeah. Cause for trouble, cause for pain. God, I have, uh, I'm Going Home by Tim Curry stuck in my head. You really do need to see Rocky Horror Picture Show. Is this really yeah. good? There we go. Wonders full. It's full. There we go. <sighs> I love how fast these saves are. Yeah. I also do like the, uh, the, the goddamn heart container, uh, E-tanks. Yeah. Now, I, I, silver. What? The, the reason that I put this maximum cloak time at 12.5 seconds is because the longest that you can stay invisible in this game, other than standing still infinite with cloak and dagger. Like a bitch. Is... 14 seconds is your maximum cloak time yeah. by, by wielding the Lestranger. The Lestranger. All right. This is why the cloak and dagger is still considered a valid. Like even even during like the days when the when the Dead Ringer was busted as hell. Uh, the Cloak and Dagger and 
Doc, we're still seen as, you know, sort of viable. Uh, Valve uh, once Come on. Hold, hold their data, their data, and um, yeah. Wouldn't you know it? At that, at the time that they did their data pull, uh, eighty percent of spy oh, oh. users. Check this out. Whoa. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Vario suit. Nice. The Vario suit is also a pretty decent look. I still like the original suit, though. That's the one you had in the flashback. Yep. At the start of the game. Yeah. I wonder if uh, disabling... Uh... Hold on, I want to see if disabling the Vario suit... Oh, no, I can't disable. I think that might have just been like a one or two game thing. I mean, you can do it in Prime as well. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, no, you couldn't. You couldn't? No. Oh no! We went over this. Are you? You cannot disable. You cannot disable your upgrades. In Prime. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Uh, eighty percent of users. Or of spy players who are using the Dead Ringer, with the other 20% being pretty evenly split between the Invis and the Cloaking. Making the Cloaking Dagger about as viable as stock. Makes sense. By the way, VLC, VLC froze again. Alright. There you go. There we go. Uh, but yeah. Because I don't want to make, I don't want to make something too strong. Yeah. It would be like the Cloak and Dagger, nerfed. Is ha like, it, it, it needed the nerf. It definitely needed the nerf. Yeah. The original Cloak and Dagger uh, had an 80% damage reduction that applied the instant that you got hit to activate, which means the original Dead Ringer spy could survive headshots, backstabs, taunt kills. Jesus. Uh, they had uh, no cloak shimmer on being shot. It was. It was awful to play against. It was disgusting. Yeah, it needed the nerf. Uh, something that I feel didn't really need to be nerfed as much as it did, or at least, at least should have been reworked, is the Sandman. I missed... Let's see. In, in defense of my love for the Sandman, I stopped playing TF2 around, 20, around like August 2012. I played like a round of... Computer wasn't really good enough to run TF2, and then I didn't have a computer that could run TF2 good enough I until about 2020. I don't remember where the Sandman is. The Sandman's the wooden one that lets you throw the baseball. Oh, okay. Uh, throw. You hit the baseball. Uh, when it first came out, it would uh, stun enemies when they got hit. Uh, when it first first came out, uh, the stun was constant and it didn't matter how far away you were. Uh, a later rework made it so that it's still stunned, but the duration of the stun depended on how far away they were. Yeah. Uh, but, and, and this, this was done at the cost of having 15 less, less HP, making you, uh, very killable. Yeah. Uh, in my defense uh, of loving this weapon, uh, I got out of TF2 before the th before the thirsty guillotine got uh, added. 
So Silver, you know how how we have our ranged our ranged bleed scout build. Oh, of course. Ranged flavor, as it is called. Yeah. Uh, the, the the guillotine, the, the rap assassin, the flying guillotine. Yeah, rap assassin and the flying guillotine. Uh, the flying guillotine used to be paired very well with the Sandman. Oh. Because his... they would be stuck in place, and you could whack them with a bleed weapon for lingering damage. Yeah, that sounds, uh, sounds like that would do a lot. Yeah, that's kind of why the Sandman got nerfed. But I, I think they probably should have either reworked, either, like, reworked it, or gotten rid of, like, make it deal, like, less, make it deal, like, a redu reduced damage, but, like, not have the minus 15 HP. Yeah. Oh, well, what, what can you do? Because, as it is now, the ball no longer stuns. It merely slows your enemy to 300 hammer units. Oof. And which is the speed of a heavy. Which means your baseball does nothing to a heavy. Deal, at most, 45 damage. Jesus Christ. And you know the best part? What? Uh, anyone with literally literally any knowledge of move attack in TF2 will be completely unaffected by your ball if they get hit outside of, you know, the, the chunk of health. And this is because you can completely avoid the slowing of by strafe walking. Oh. A.K.A. Holding A or D while you're walking forward. <laughs> By walking at a diagonal, you completely avoid the slowing effect. That sounds... Yeah, that sounds about right. It is a, uh, a Valve game. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that kind of makes it viable... Uh... At, outside of Tiki, uh, outside of either using it because you're you miss it, or you think it's funny to look down at the floor and just keep whacking your ball as he instantly picks it up, because it is funny. Yeah. Because it makes him it makes him spam his his voice lines, like got my ball, found my ball, got the ball back. I love my ball. Balls. I love my ball. Just over and over and over. Yeah. Uploading data. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. He's basically like, oh, Dyron, it's hot. It's like, you, you, this is Dyron. It, uh, ha you, you activated one of the. Uh, Can you go in the lava now that you have the various suit? Nope. That's right, it's the gravity suit. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go save now that I got that energy tank. Just, cause I... just in case. But yeah, no, what he said... he ba The thing he said basically boiled down to... Uh, this is... Uh, you already activated one of the generators. There's still another generator that needs to be activated. Uh, I see. Uh, but yeah, well, the thing that makes it still kind of viable, the Sandman, uh, which, I mean, is also, you could also do it on the, um, Damn it. with the rapid assassin. No, you're not. No, I am. I, it's impossible to have enough health to survive. Uh, I'm still surprised that I got the first jump on the first try, though. Yeah, that was really smooth. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. By the way, uh, 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 let's put a pause on that for a moment. This section okay. I'm in, uh, I'm doing sequence breaking. Um, I'm doing some sequence breaking. Uh, this section. Because you're a naughty, naughty girl. Yes. Uh, so yeah, this area. Uh, 
If you know how to get here, then you can sequence break. I think you've got that down. Damn it, I don't have that down though. No. Yeah. Uh that second okay. one is a, a little more difficult than the first. Yeah. All right. So the thing about the Sandman and also the Rap Assassin uh is that when if you swing, if you swing your bat before you fire your before you hit your before you hit your ball. Yeah. And What you do is you you swing your bat first, and then you fire your ball. And damn it, there is a fifteen percent chance. There's a fifteen percent chance of when you fire that ball, it will be a critical it'll be a critical ball yeah. you know it'll have the the sound effect particle effects etc yeah it'll say crit over their head yeah well it, it'll be you know it'll it'll be glowing here's the thing if on you if if you get that critical ball on your first try for the entire time you are in that server as long as you swing first before firing your ball you will have a critical hit. Nice. The ball will always be critical so long as you swing. So, which means, you know, you get that nice little critical sm critical hit every time, so it, get, it makes it, you know, a bit more better at dealing damage. Yeah. It's, you're not using it less for the status effect and more for damage. Yeah. Which is great, because it gives you three ranged options. Which is cool. Yeah. I mean, it already has three ranged options, which is pretty rare for most other classes. Uh, but, you know, pretty neat. Uh, like, I, uh, if, it, if, it do, if you don't get that critical hit on the first go, uh, you do have to switch class and then go back to being a scout. Damn it. I'm gonna get it. You're gonna get it, I believe in you. I am going to get uh -huh. it. So yeah, you have to like sw keep switching classes until you get that critical ball, and then it will be critical the whole game. Yeah. Uh, I, sh uh, I should not have gone like a full month without practicing. To be fair, yeah. I, I I beat this game like f five times while you were doing your prime uh, while you're doing prime because I thought prime was gonna end a lot sooner. Yeah. You didn't. You you failed to account for uh, my love of wandering. Come on. Damn it. What are you trying to do? I need to jump right at the end of my slide so I can catch that uh, ledge on the right. Oh, uh, okay. That way I can go through it. Yeah, you'll see it once it works, once it's done. Damn it. I did that way too early. Damn it! Silver. Alright. I'm just gonna chug my pink lemonade. For luck. Yeah.
That was about three fourths of a liter. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I may regret. I, I may regret that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Suffer fool. Look. It's like a potion of luck. See? I told you. All I needed to do was chug my pink lemonade. You've done it. it now, tell the people at home what you've skipped. Uh... Slight sequence break. I am skipping one item. What are you skip? What are you skipping? Uh, you'll see in this. I I'll tell you exactly what it is I skipped. It it's only, I mean, I'm still gonna get this stuff. It's less sequence breaking and more doing things in a different order. But I'm I'm gonna be getting two items before I face the next boss. I mean, Silver, that sounds like you're breaking the intended sequence. You would think so, but it's very clear that the devs knew that this was a possibility. And I will show you why later. I mean, you already know, but the viewers might not. True. We've still got uh, another half hour of the recording left, right? Yeah, yeah. Like 20 minutes or so. No, it, it's fine. I can do it. Yeah. We think I'm gonna I'm gonna check the Breath of the Wild thing real quick. I wanna make sure it's got a good Wait. Shit, no, this thumbnail. is thumbnail. Let me go there. Right, this is where I wanted to go. Oh wait, shit. Didn't you say you're gonna make a custom thumbnail? Fuck! I didn't have time. I'll I'll go for I'll, I'll switch it to something as the least spoilery one. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, one of the options is... The title? Uh, not the title, but it's it's just a zoom in on Zelda. Oh yeah, that's fine. Like, in, in the, uh, in the, in the, you know, when, it, when it's in the, in the title sequence. Yeah. The very start when it's like, Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah. Let me get the plug out here, uh, so we don't have to have it in the ending. Check out, uh, check out our Let's Play of Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, Breath of the Wild the, 2, Tears of the Kingdom, yeah. The Revenge, featuring out, Dante from Devil May Cry, and Knuckles. Yep. Check out The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Kingdom, the first part of our Tears of the Kingdom Let's Play. Yeah. Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Kingdom. Wait, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild 2, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Let's play Tears of the Kingdom Part 1. Unfortunately, we can't make it that long. I mean, we could if we weren't cowards. No, literally. It, oh. it, it, only, gives, it only has a 100 character limit. Oh, I didn't know that. I've ne I've never hit a character limit on a t uh, on a video title. Yeah, well, I did. I mean, it wouldn't is... let it wouldn't let me have out the full thing and also let's play t let's play Le Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's fair. Or or even just Tears of the Kingdom. I had, for for this funny long episode, I had to short T O T K. Yeah. We'll probably just keep it TOTK for ever, honestly. Maybe. It is considerably shorter than riding out Metroid Prime Remastered it nine times. Don't want the people at home thinking I'm playing it on the GameCube, now do we? Alright, got that. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. 
spooky. Silver, I'm a spooky. Don't be spooky. Is that an X? What? Is that an X? No, no. The X don't have eyes. That was just, uh... PSA X has eyes. Uh, well, no, their eyes are, like, pure white and empty. Time to start the other generator. So we'll, uh, we'll beat the boss, and then we will, uh, save. Get to a save room, and then we'll, uh... Nice. Haha! Yeah. -ha, bombs! Hooray! Yeah. So, we're about halfway through the game. Almost. Nice. Oh, right. Not really, but I think it's going to be a total of three uh, episodes to beat because uh we also have cutscenes and stuff yeah <laughs> come on like a bitch Oh, son of a bitch. Wait, hold on. Can, is there a bombable? Nope. I have to do this dumb way. Just save. I save every chance I get because, you know, I'm a little, good, good idea. A little bit paranoid. Understandable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's the. Did you. Oh, Alexa? Uh, did I what? Uh, did you get the thing that you skipped yet? No, no, I haven't. That's after the boss. It's like right after the boss. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I basically got two things before killing a boss that I, uh, normally would have, uh, had to kill. Damn it. Okay, fine. I'll do it this way. Damn it! Okay, no more fancy tricks then. Silver. What? I was trying to be fancy. Wait. Yeah, no, this is correct. Huh? Can't blame me for trying to be a fancy girl. Can you? I can. How I dare? Can. Impossible. 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 All right, boss time. Hooray. Yep, it's the Kataris boss. 
that we got to kill. Luckily, it's not too hard. I like the, uh... I, I think my favorite version of the fusion suit is the dread suit. The, the base dread suit. I like the blue and red. It looks a lot cooler than yeah. the orange and red. Because it contrasts. Uh, so you're, you're saying you love America? Uh, it could be Britain. Or Australia. Disgusting. Oh my god, did you hear about... Disgusting. Did you hear about uh, the whole uh, New Zealand flag thing? No. Oh my god, so... Uh, New Zealand uh, was trying to change its flag. And... Because it wants to be, it wants to have its own flag and not just Australia's flag, but li but different. Exactly, and uh, it, it did it the way that has always been proven to be the best way to uh, decide things. Ah, internet poll. Exact internet contest. User submitted. Internet. User submitted internet contest. User submitted flags. The, oh boy. The one that I personally think should have won had a, uh, a a silver fern and a uh, and a kiwi shooting a laser oh because you know they have like New Zealand has like three things going for it it's got this the, the silver leaves it's got the southern cross and it's got the uh, the kiwis yeah and nothing else. Oh fuck, that's not good. I didn't mean to fall there. Okay. Ah, that's where it is. Is this? Oh, I'm seeing the flag. The the kiwi flag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was actually one legitimate. Uh one flag that actually looked like a flag that a lot of people agree should have won uh and well, uh, it, it was it was the the red peak flag look up new zealand red peaks actually uh oh. yeah boss time oh i'll watch them hell yeah boy it's hot in here it's a little toasty. It is toasty. Yeah. Oh no! Big monster! What could it be? Oh. Clearly it's not a threat. Look how chill Samus is. It's Kraid! It's Kraid! So I love that uh, the Chozo warriors were just like following Samus on Zebus and it just picked up Kraid after uh, Samus defeated him. Yeah, fuck that idiot. Useless asshole. Are you sure you don't want to save your ro your rockets? No, I'm good. Don't worry, the hard part's done. Kraid's not a hard... Well, actually, no. Kraid is actually a harder boss than Ridley. And I stand by that. Because you actually have to aim with Rid uh, with Kraid. Like, when, it's, when you're fighting Ridley, all you have to really do is... Uh, it, it's a war of attrition. Uh. Yeah. See? Com that sequence point that secret break was completely intended by the developers. That wouldn't What was it that you got? Bombs. Oh right. Bombs and grappling hook. And that let me do the uh, quick kill for Kraid by going into it his gross infected belly button. And now Kraid's dead.
He's and definitely a lot dead. Of lithia. Yep, Kraid's dead. He's no more. Unfortunately. Bye, Kraid. So I really thought Kraid was gonna come back. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be the wouldn't be the first time they've had Kraid come back. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it would have been the th and that's the item that I skipped. Ah. The diffusion beam. Now my charge beams can uh, do shit through walls. Cool. Yeah. Alright, now we just need to get to a save. Also, now I can kill these assholes. Yay! Yep. Death to asshole. Wait, uh... Uh... Oh, what's up here? Wait, hold on. Uh. Ha! Ha! I didn't fall for your stupid lava trick. Ha ha! I am the good at game. Darren. Yep. Teleportal. Yep. Do you think Samus has any bread? Nah. I think Samus- She got cake, though. I oh. No. I think that Samus could definitely beat the, um... Uh, oh shit, what is the monster called? Was it, what was the bread uh, monster called? The entire map uh, of, about it. Remember? Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, the map is called Bread Space. Oh, right. And for... It was very strange. Uh, the, uh... It's called Big Mama. Yeah. I bet Samus could kill it. Uh... Weirdly enough... Uh, despite being very clearly a horror, a horror esque themed map, came out in a Smithsmith update. Wild. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, this was episode yeah. one of my Metroid Dread uh, Let's Play. Um, we we killed uh, Kraid in less than two hours. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. Check out some of the other stuff. As mentioned, Biddy is playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm also yes. playing Sonic 06, although we didn't have an episode this week uh, due to uh, internet problems. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Silver's been having some internet issues. I've been having computer issues. You have. Uh, what else is there on the channel? Scraps is playing Cult of the Lamb, which you can check out. Uh, we also have yeah. Tabletop Thursdays. Uh, I don't know what we played this week, but I'm sure it's fun. Um, Probably. Yeah. Maybe more Hues and Cues, more, maybe more Clue. Who knows? Uh, and there is also a couple Dungeon Dragons campaigns going on. Uh, like Curse of Strahd. Um, Which is almost done, according to the DM. To be fair, the DM's been saying that for about a year now. I, less than a year. We've At least half a year. a year. I think. No, we've been going for nearly two years. Really? I think so. We'll check later. And there's also World of Tapir, which is my campaign that I run. It's a homebrew. They're uh, yeah. about to finally make it back to their ship where they can leave the godforsaken desert that they've been in for like quite a few sessions. Yes. Please. Water. I need the open yeah. sea. So, uh, common challenge of the day. Um, what's your favorite? Actually, no. We 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 have already established. Levere uh, actually feels quite comfortable in the desert. Yeah. 
Comment challenge today. What is your favorite Metroid suit? I like the uh, super gravity suit. Uh, I I like the I like Dread's various suit. Yeah. All right. Well, with that out of the way, there's nothing left to say. But good night, everybody. Bye. -bye.